You have five seconds to leave the premises. Five, four, three, two. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And... You know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. Jackpot. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of grog back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for schizics and treble. Oh, they're close, 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 close. Over there! Come, brother! I'm on their trail. Damn, I'm good. Nighty night. Never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. That 
That's a... That's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Hey, follow me. We got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Hungry, hungry. I says we take the ark. Taste the mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. There we go! Rip their hearts! Crush their... Hey, hey! You hear that... You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry! Kill!
Follow me. Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button. And it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Yeah, yeah, prize time. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, 
the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. Think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. Sorry about that. Get over here. Bingo! Now for the fun stuff. Come here! 
Take a break. Get your asses over here. is at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrol that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Have a swell time out there! You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. 
Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. Safe travels. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Welcome to the Fix Pit. My name's Delta. Take it easy. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. The Ark thanks you for your service. Be Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder, sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. get my feathers twitching. Hundreds of them out here. All full of ghosts, shivering in the cold. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Serves you right. Stone cold.
follow me. Check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. Does that hurt? Zongul stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. 
They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Get over here. We've never been this far from the Ark before. Talk about undiscovered country, huh? You think we finally left the ghouls behind? Yeah, me neither. My brain must be rotting. Is that a beautiful woman I see before me? Wait, I know that beautiful woman. She's a stalker. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. And Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what?
we have here. Am I a great A stalker or what? You see this hidden path through the forest? That had to hurt. Better. Wow. We could have one hell of a flea market with this junk. Look at these weird machines. Where do you think they come from? Hell, they're almighty. I've seen some crazy shit in the zone, but this takes the bullet. This house must have belonged to some small people. I mean, small, small. That is just the weirdest. Bingo! Now for the fun stuff. So I was talking to Aridia, and she told me about this ancient machine she had seen out in the zone, not too far from here. She said it looked like it had fallen from the sky, crashed into the ground, and it spread more than enough scrap around for us. I didn't sign up to hunt some ghoul looters. This is ridiculous. They're everywhere. up your nose hole. Grey One is a weak old hag. Oh, I hope she didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Uh, I'm sorry, Grey One. Come on. Oh, 
Bye bye. Get over here. There's an image of a rot pair. This looks like, uh, a testing contraption for fruit. I heard stories about singing fruit that could make music. Is this somehow related? Why the hell would anybody need to test fruit? You either eat it or you slay it at some bozo's head. A bozo like you. Yeah. 
female and her as good as dead. Too shabby. Ow! We Bye. lost one. Call me. Let's get this open. Huh, that's funny. Saw a storybook in the Ark about the ancients. They were wearing suits of armor just like this. Selma, you must have seen a lot of crazy stuff out in the zone, huh? Working with Hammond? I've seen things you wouldn't believe. The ruins of an amphitheater in an ancient city. A herd of zone bears grazing on fluorescent grass. Whoa, you're pulling my beak, right? Tell me more. Ain't no zone bears. Ain't no ancient city. But there's plenty of scrap out there. So why don't you find us some? Oh, I hope it's something good. Yeah, yeah, prize time.
don't think we want Rodhead over there to call his buddies. Let's stay hidden. Bye-bye. Not too shabby. Bingo. Now for the fun stuff. Over here. I got this. Cover me. Intruders.
Yeah! Does that hurt? So bad. Get up with a spare ring, stupid stalkers! Get down! Overwatch! Take it! Thank <laughs> you. 
fucking freak! As good as dead! Adam, soldier. This might sting a little. You're the best.
Bingo. You ain't half bad for a newbie. Follow me. Oh, I wish that tunnel wasn't the only way forward. It gives me the willies. Okay, so this is not spooky at all. Walking through a graveyard. Fantastic. I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death, scraping across the face of the planet. 
It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the ancients. We don't worship the ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Farewell. Remember your elders' guidance. Have a seat. Mutants get a discount. You have a swell time out there. These are really something special. Found these up north in the hull of a ship. They're EMP grenades. Any machine within the blast radius shuts down immediately. I don't see many working machines nowadays, though. Until next time. Ah, heard you ran into some pyro ghouls last run. Watch out for them. They got a love affair with firebombs dripping that stuff all over their faces. Stupid as shit. Spark a pyro ghoul in the right way and you see them spontaneously combust. Boom! <laughs> Good times. Take it easy. My favorite stalkers. I was just reclining here dreaming of when I'd see you again. I guess dreams do come true. Safe travels. Hey, what can I help you with? Take it easy.
appropriate place for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. I did that. What do you think about that, huh?
Yeah, yeah, prize time. <laughs> okay, you had me at the ghoul screams, but now a pile of friggin' bodies? You wanna give me a heart attack? Follow me. Those ghouls were working like a team. They were organized. What? Ghouls are total dummies. No, Foreman's right. Someone has to be teaching them, controlling them. Who? 